differently to everyone. But for me, success can mean so many different things. If I get my children, all four of my children through school, I say we retire early, you know, me and my husband traveling, like I believe that's a successful marriage. And even if there's no way, if he becomes paralyzed from the waist down, which oh, knock on wood, why I say that, if I do, it's, you know, anyone, like I don't, I would not say, oh, because we can't be physical, that our marriage is not successful. You can have a successful marriage without physical intimacy. Mm, mm, mm. You can have. Oh, wait a second. Sorry about my fault. Wow. What do you guys think? Hmm? I'm going to start with, let's say, who did I start with last time? Me. Me. <laughs> All right, Tawana, you're, you're getting the first stab at this one. Agree. You agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not strongly agree, but just agree. Just agree. A little bit. Just a little just bit. Agree. Just, agree. just a little bit. Big bad bulls in the building. Andrea? Uh, I strongly disagree. Ooh, strongly disagree. Christopher yeah. J? Uh... I disagree. You disagree. Okay, freak. Uh, Robbie? I strongly agree. You strongly it's... agree? Oh, mm -hmm. sugar snaps. Okay. This is how it's laying out, everybody. What do you guys think? Who, who, are, who do I start with? Andrea, you said you strongly disagree. Why? And then why, why, then that's why people are cheating. You know, if you, if you have without physical intimacy, people, that's why people are cheating and people are having side pieces and shit because they're not getting that shit at home. That's why they go over there with the next, with the next woman and spend 15 years with her and still be married to somebody else. Because she's the wife is not getting him intimacy, physical intimacy. It don't mean you have been having sex. That means you're talk, pillow talking, you're watching you're just landing up each other, watching movies and shit like that. If you don't have that, you, people, that's why people that's why marriages are um sleeping. One one partner is in the other room and she's in the other room. But they still not they're not happy being married either. They just it's a call, it's a duty. Not called a duty. <laughs> no, I'm saying they call that as a they call that a duty. I'm just saying that that's why people people are cheating and stuff. If they had a successful marriage and they had physical intimacy, they wouldn't be cheating with the next side piece. So let me and ask I'm, you. I'm, so let me ask you this, uh, Robbie. You're on the other side of Andrea's opinion. What do you disagree with what she's saying? First of all, people don't just cheat for physical intimacy. And that's the thing that a lot of people get twisted. Some people hate information being shown. Some people just go over to the next person because they get a different emotional response. Some people are meant to feel like the superhero with their side person. So, you know, I think it's very interesting, intriguing whenever we're talking about relationships. Everything is always reduced down to sexual entanglement. Now, as far as for strongly, I didn't, agreeing, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say it had to be sex. I said you could, you could be pill talking. I said you could watch movies. You could be no, no, no. You said that's why people cheat. I, 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 not I, that I, physical I, intimacy. If, okay, if, but I let you. I let you give that. Yeah, Andre, y'all, y'all wait to this. <laughs> <laughs> but I strongly agree because if you're having a successful marriage, at some point in your marriage, you're going to be old. You're not going to be physically intimate with each other every day. And pillow talking is not physical intimacy. Pillow talking is after physical sex has occurred. But as you age and get older in your marriage, people get sick. People get ill. People become detached. They go through midlife crises. They have a whole bunch of life events that happen. And a person doesn't necessarily want to be touched. They just want to be talked to. 
and you can still have a successful marriage. That's why marriages work. That's why the vows are for better or for worse in sickness and in health. All Love right. passes to, all of aid. Tawana, you agreed with Rob B? Yes. The reason I agree and didn't strongly agree is because yeah, I do think that physical intimacy is important. So I didn't want to say strongly agree because I felt like it is important. It's necessary in a marriage and ob all those obvious things. But when I talk about success, right, when we talk about what success is defined as, some people define success like all our kids went to college. We're still married after 30 years. We we saved. We've retired together. We did all these things. And sometimes success is not based on how, much, how many times we have sex. And every marriage does not experience infidelity. And I don't base my marriage or anybody's marriage on what happens normally, because a lot of marriages fail for financial reasons. A lot of marriages fail for other reasons. So success is defined differently to everyone. But for me, success can mean so many different things. If I get my children, all four of my children through school, I say we retire early, you know, me and my husband traveling, like I believe that's a successful marriage. And even if there's no way if he becomes paralyzed from the waist down, which it'll oh, knock on wood. Why I say that if I do is, you know, anyone like I don't I would not say, oh, because we can't be physical, that our marriage is not successful. All right. Christopher J. Fight back. Look, here. I hear all that, but I need to test something. I need to grab something. I need to pick you up off the ground, hang you up against the wall and probably nibble on your neck. I'm just being for real. There's no way a marriage is going to last. Now, we're all talking about in your older age, totally understand that. Even then, although I, I still disagree, uh, I'll be 36 tomorrow. 36, what's 36 times two? Mm, 72, I'm still gonna be touching, grabbing my wife, just sorry. It's just for the simple fact that I, um, as a as a married man, you do what you're supposed to do and all these other aspects of your marriage to make sure that it's fulfilled, that is it is keeps going. And on top of that, I'm trying to show something for myself. Like this is how a man supposed to carry himself in a marriage. This is how you're supposed to treat his wife. Now, when it comes to the physical aspect of it, uh, yeah, do you want me to do that with you? Or do you want me to do that with the next door neighbor? It's only up to you. So to keep that man, to keep that man in this uh re this relationship, is best if the woman satisfy all the man's needs, including physical. Just like he's satisfying your needs, you need to satisfy his, or else he's gonna go out that front door. Just being honest. Okay, all right. So y'all have at it. We'll give you guys a couple of minutes on this topic. So what about the military? What about the military marriages? What about when you are married and your husband is busting his ass for your family and he's sitting there and he's working back to back 16 hour shifts and you only see each other in passing. You know, you don't even got time to touch him. He don't got time to touch you because you getting up when it's time to take the kids out. He's still asleep. By the time you make it back, he done got up and he went out the door like y'all, you know, I don't judge nobody with the way they think. I'm just sharing how I think. How I look at a situation is total 360 full picture of the situation. There are plenty of times in life. What if you are sick? If you're physically ill, God forbid you catch cancer or something like that. You cannot be touched because your body is in a degraded capacity. If your partner leaves you because you can't be touched, he's a piece of crap, she's a piece of crap, and they don't deserve to be with you anyway. What about if your partner goes through a phase of depression and that you can't touch them? It's hard to reach them. You got to figure out a way to pull them from a sunken place and bring them back to who they are. Be an essence being in a successful marriage is not about just the happy times. It's about how you rally for your spouse in the times that are down. And I know several people in marriages that have had years where they didn't even want to talk to each other. They were sleeping in separate rooms. They only got together when it was time to do what they needed to do for the family. And that is the problem with marriages in today's society. And that is the problem with the community. As long as it's convenient, everything is sparkles and whistles and bells and glitter. And as soon as things get tough, people fold. Stay away from me if y'all fold.
I mean that. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, when, but, yeah. Like, when it comes to marriage, when it comes to marriage, oh, marriage sorry, go ahead. To you don't mean it's success to me. What you think marriage is me? What marriage means to you might not mean it to me. Yes. So, so, so define success, marriage, marriage. I don't define it as the way y'all think I should define it. I define it is if if I'm not happy, I'm out with that bitch. Yeah. Period. Mean, and I respect what you're successful, saying, but so a, a successful marriage to me might mean different. My parents they, they were married till my mama died, but that don't mean they married was successful. They stayed together and raised seven kids, but that don't mean it's successful. It might be successful to them, but I I might not think it's successful. Mm. What's successful to them and what's successful to me is two different levels. If I want to be out my marriage, I was out my marriage. Period. No doubt, and it, I feel you on that because you know everybody has the right to leave. When they want to leave or not, the question is not about our personal perspective of what a successful marriage is. It's just a successful marriage overall. So, by definition of your statement, for somebody else, a successful marriage could be never ever be in touch. Even if we're looking at the LGBTQIA community, mm -hmm. you have a certain category of lesbians that are touch me not. They don't want to be touched. They can be successfully married to other women and have a happy marriage. You want to know how I know my best friend is a touch me not. She's married to a woman. They have the best relationship ever. She don't never want to be touched intimately, physically. Is so that, there's well, that. Because is that, hold on, Rob. Is that, well, I don't want you to put your friend. I don't, I don't know why. Okay. I don't that's, know the why. Fair. Fair. But she just, she just a touch me not. She just don't want to be touched. Gotcha. And that's probably successful to her, and that's fine. But that's not always. That's not. That could not be. Might not be me. I think um, a, man, a man touching me. That's a successful marriage. If, if it's in my. If that's the marriage I want. If I don't want to be touched, then I don't, I'm gonna find a man don't want to be touched. I don't want to be touched though. So I'm just saying. So if your husband is sick, let me ask you a question. Honestly, if your husband is sick, right? Yes. He's going through a thing physically. Yes. He's unable to. You gonna leave him? No, I'm not gonna leave him because we gonna we gonna we gonna have time. We gonna be we gonna have effort. We gonna spend we gonna spend time knowing each other. So no, I'm not gonna leave him. But I have I seen people do it. Yes, I have. Have I seen people bounce out of a out of a marriage because they say this shit ain't working for me no more? Yes, I have. Have I seen people say I'm gonna stay married to him, but I'm gonna cheat on my husband? Yes, I have. It's a define of what marriage and success mean to other people, and what what I find success for me and what you find success for me is two two different levels. What I find it, is co-parenting with my ex husband has been good. Co-parenting with him can be an asshole. I'm just saying. I want to I want to jump in here real quick because uh, regarding the intimacy part, it's real simple. Be in love with your partner, but also you need to continue to fall in love with your partner. Like when it comes to the physical intimacy stuff, so first of all, you got to make sure there's no trauma involved. You got to go do some digging, some soul searching, and figure out what's going on right there because you want to. Fulfill, like I said, you want to fulfill your partner's need, but at what cost, though? Hold on, I'm hold, on. Trying, go ahead. hold on, time out. Uh, I just wanted to highlight a comment in the chat. I can't be with a woman who can't be touched. I guarantee I would cheat on her. Well, that's you, fair. God. That's a fair statement. I think that's, a, that's, a fair, that's a fair assessment. He's saying how he feels. You what guys he are sick. You guys are sick. How, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. How, how really is that sick? He, he. Put he it on the table. He he like, look, I understand yeah, you're going through something, but this is what I want. That's but here's the thing. Funny. But here's the thing, based on even what Andrea said, right? Even if someone cheats, that doesn't mean your marriage is unsuccessful. Like, I don't necessarily agree. And I think that she's right in the sense of we all have what we believe is successful. And I I agree more with Rob B's position on how you stick by that person you get through those things you don't you know you you kind of have to consider that any of these things could happen am i conditional with my love or am i going to be unconditional am i going to stay with him or with my partner through all of those things imperfections flaws all the issues the trauma because that's what really breaks down a marriage is the troubles that you go through the happy times do not break a marriage it's the troubles how you get through them what happens when a death happens? What happens when all the sickness happens? How do you take care of my mother, my family, my parents? 
all of those things affect a marriage. So yes, I agree that success has to be your own definition of what success is. If I stay married to my husband 30 years, that's going to be considered a success for me. Whether he physically, he didn't physically touch me for the last five years is not going to make my marriage unsuccessful in my opinion. Sis. And you know what else? Other people okay. looking at your marriage from the outside in you married for 30 years. They're going to look at that successful too. That's why the silver anniversary is an important mm. milestone. That's why the gold and uh, anniversary is an important marital milestone. This is the thing, yo. And dating with people and whatever, before you make a commitment, you're supposed to know them through all seasons. And I'm not talking about like the actual seasons in the globe. I'm talking about a season of prosperity, a season of depravity, a season of sorrow, a season of happiness. You got to know how people is going to move in these seasons in their life. And if you know you're a type of person that can't handle it, then don't ever get married, yo. Mm -hmm. This is why I say some things are more selfless than others. Because with a parent, with a child, right, you definitely going to love them forever no matter what they do because they're your kid. But when it comes to your spouse, it's the most selfless act to unconditionally love your spouse because you don't have to and you can walk away from them even though you could throw kids away in a dumpster it's always going to be something that's going to tug at your heartstrings because it's still you and they can always come back and find you but to actually take on a complete stranger and love them exactly for who they are exactly where they stand that's selfless i am be quiet though all right all right all right all right so that was that was good that was good yourself did i feel like you did if that's that's the case. Take the time to know yourself. Take the time to know the kind of partner you have. Because sometimes people rush into marriage and don't know each other. Agree strongly. And, so and take the time. Take the okay, time. Okay. To you. Time out. Time out. We about to go. <laughs> we are going to go into a speed up speed rounds, and we're gonna kind of get you guys' opinion about certain things. Uh, for this, I gave. I'm giving everybody 200 points. You guys are all right. I can't argue. 